So tomorrow, we'll, uh, they will wake up around 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Uh, EVA prep will begin at around 2.15 in the morning, and that will conclude uh, with hatch opening around 7.15 a.m. Central Time. So that'll be very exciting. Once outside, uh, the crew will spend about 45 minutes getting their tools configured, uh, getting all their tethers configured, and start heading out to the work site. And if we can go to the first visual coming up here, there we go. Uh, that's the work site that, uh, that they will be at. Uh, it's labeled the 2B PFCS, and what's denoted there in yellow is, uh, is a pump package. Their work site is about 150 feet away from the airlock, so they will transit out along the uh, truss on the port side uh, to the solar array that you see there in the picture in the work site that's denoted with the, uh, with the red arrow. Uh, once at the work site, what they will be doing is performing a visual inspection. If we can go to the second graphic. They'll be performing a visual inspection around the area in yellow there depicted and that will provide better insight uh, and complement the imagery that we gained uh, yesterday to try to pinpoint where this leak is. So we're going to gather as much information as we can from the visual standpoint, and the crew will then uh, take that uh, PFCU out. There are two lock bolts that, uh, that run up and down in the picture there, and there's two uh, quick disconnects that are actuated with two bolts on the left and right side of that yellow box. So they will take that box out and they will temp stow it. Uh, the crew will then perform a visual inspection down in the bay where that box came out. They will also look up under the box to make sure that uh, there is nothing anomalous or anything that could provide some insight as to where this leak might be originating from. If we go to the graphic on uh, number three, that's the box in question. And uh, if you see there on the, what's depicted as H1 and H2, those are the two bolts that will re release the uh, quick disconnects, that uh, those are what interfaces the ammonia system uh, to the pumps that are inside that box and provides the flow through the integrated electronic assembly and radiators uh, in the system. The other two bolts, the H3 and H4, are the structural bolts which hold it down uh, into the bay. And we can go to the next graphic and it provides a nice view of the underside of this box. Uh, it's aluminum structure and the two conical, uh, view, two conical cones that you see there are the two structural bolts and you can see the QDs uh, towards the front of the picture on e either side. So the crew will, uh, will temp stow that box, they'll get some imagery. Uh, the ground team will look at that as well and then they will translate out uh, several feet to pick up the spare uh, pump package. They will remove that from the spare platform. They will put it in and uh, replace the, uh, the hopefully anomalous pump package. Bolt that down, uh, integrate the QDs in, and then take and stow the anomalous pump package back in that slot. And that really concludes most of the activities that are going to be uh, objectives that we want out of the EVA. At this point, they're going to do a visual inspection. We know there's ammonia uh, in the area, as evidenced by the video that uh, Mike showed earlier. So they'll do a visual inspection of, uh, of each other to make sure that there's no uh, ammonia ice on their suits. And once they have concluded that uh, they are clean, uh, that starts a bake-out timer, and we do that to make sure that we have adequate time for any hidden ammonia that might be on the suits uh, to evaporate, and that, on rough order of magnitude, 30 to 45 minutes as required for that bake-out time. So they will, uh, that clock starts, and they will begin their transit back uh, to the airlock uh, down the P6 truss, and once they get in the airlock, uh, they will hook up on umbilicals. They will uh, repress the airlock to around 5 PSI, and perform a test. It's a drag or tube, and it's just a, a, a simple way of detecting how much ammonia might be uh, in the atmosphere at that 5 PSI level. And based on that, we'll make a determination of if there's contamination or not. Uh, if consumables permit, they may do a second test. We don't anticipate that to be required. And uh, if consumables don't permit, then they'll go ahead and press the airlock up and come back into station. So uh, we're looking forward to a very good day tomorrow. A lot of hard work, full court press, and we're real excited.